All right, today we're gonna make a DIY aquaponics kit. Here are some items you will need. A 10 gallon aquarium, but a five gallon would work as well. Some one and a quarter inch PVC pipe, aquarium tubing, foam filter media, net pots, some peat pods, a small aquarium pump, and if you plan on using this inside, a grow light. Here are some tools you may need. A drill, a chop saw or a PVC cutter, a table saw or a hand saw, a small drill bit, a step down bit or a one inch Forzner bit, a tape measure, an orbital sander, or just some sandpaper and some elbow grease. All right, the first thing you need to do is measure the top of your aquarium. This is what the PVC pipe will rest on, so you need to make sure to be very precise. On this aquarium, my measurement is 19 and 5 16th inches. Once you have your measurement, mark it on your PVC pipe and make your cut. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Now we are going to cut our slits in the ends of our PVC pipe. You can do this on a table saw or with a handsaw. I'm going to use a table saw. Now I don't need the slits to be very deep, so I'm only bringing my saw up about a half an inch or so. You don't want your cuts to be in the center of the PVC, but more to one end. These are the slits that will allow you to hang it on the aquarium lips. You can see my cuts are more to the left of the PVC here, which will end up being our top. I put the printed side of the PVC pipe facing outwards, so when I do my second cut, I can make sure it's aligned to my first cut. This is important because if they aren't aligned, it won't fit into the aquarium correctly. Now, you want to draw a line through the PVC from end to end on what will be the top. Since I use the printings on the PVC as my top, I can make a line right through the middle of it using a straight edge. I only want to have about five plants on my kit, so I'm roughly measuring out where my holes will be. To make it easier to drill your holes, I'm going to clamp down the PVC pipe to my table. You don't have to do this, but if you have some clamps lying around, it does make it much easier. Now that I'm clamped down, I can drill my starter holes. Using a step down bit or a one inch Forzner bit, make your hole. This is what your net pots will sit into. Be careful not to make the hole too big or cut through the other side of your PVC. Now you want to drill your drain hole. This is just a safety hole, so if the water fills up in your pipe, it has a place to drain that won't be on the outside of your aquarium. Now grab your tubing. I'm using 7 16 outer diameter tubing. Make sure to check your tubing with your pump before cutting this hole. You want the tubing hole on the opposite side of the safety drain hole and underneath your net pot holes, right here. You want your tubing to fit snug into your pipe, so make sure it's not too big. It's always better to go small and check before continuing to drill. Now that our holes are cut, let's clean up this pipe a little bit. I'll be using an orbital sander, but if you don't have one, you can always use some sandpaper and some elbow grease. All right, now it's time to assemble your aquaponics kit. Fit your tubing onto the bottom of your PVC pipe. Cut your tubing to size so there isn't much slack from the pump to the pipe. Attach the other end to the pump. Make sure it's snug on both ends. Put some filter sponge material in both ends of your PVC pipe. This will act as a surface for bacteria to live. Think of it as a filter. Angle your PVC pipe and slide it into your aquarium as so. Place your net pots in the top holes. Clip on your light, fill it with water, and finally, plug your pump in. Now go get some fish, some prawn, or whatever you would like to put in your tank. Make sure the water you add in your tank is good for your fish. 
Add some peat material to your net pots and put seeds of your choosing in your pots. Now all that's left to do is enjoy. Thanks for watching.